Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 and today we're in Garden Flipper, the expansion to House Flipper. And I'd like to take a look at a new work order. So we've got a choice of two, so let's take the top one from Anita Potoka. A flooded garden. The flood ruined our whole garden. It's a tough time for our children, so we want to give them something they never had before. We thought that kids love campfires. Can you organise something nice and safe? So let's go take a look. So if this is the house, that's quite a nice looking little house, isn't it? But the garden, oh gosh, that's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Wow, yes, that is a bit of a mess. Lovely house, flooded garden, poor thing. Right, it's a bit of a mess, yes. So let's take a quick look. So this bit looks okay. Yeah, I'm not going to have to do anything to this bit. That's quite a bit of a mess, we'll have to clean that up. Remove trash, spread grass. So there's going to be a lot of grass spreading, I think. So I think the first thing we're going to need to do is going to be to clean out all this debris. Yeah, so it, it doesn't look too awful, actually. If we're fair, this side is pretty nice and neat, so we're just going to have to remove a few weeds and things and... Uh, so let's start on removing some of these weeds. So this, this section is not going to take too much work, it's just remove a few weeds and then we're done and then the rest of it we're going to have to clean up all that mess and then start spreading grass and stuff and see what uh, happens. So let's hope there isn't one of those last weed that we can't find things on this house. <laughs> right, so weed removal, that's fairly simple. So I think that pretty much sorts out that section. And now we're starting to move a little bit more into the more difficult one. We start with a few obvious weeds, of course. And then we will need to start shoveling, I think, the rubble and stuff out. They see these these ones look like they're almost decent plants, so yet they're still weeds, so don't be caught out by that. Right, so time to shovel. So lots of rubble to remove. I presume we've got a skip to put all of this in or a nice big truck that we can take it to the dump ourselves. So let's keep shoveling rubble now we've already got the shovel in our hands. That might make it easier to see some of the rest of the garbage and stuff as well. So, Let's make sure we don't miss all the little bits at the edge. Best to start from the edges. See I tried to be at the edge and it didn't seem to want me to do that. Right, here we go. We can do this. Put you back into it. Dig harder. Yay! We're making progress now. Every shovel full makes a big difference to their garden. Oh, there's a bit more over here. Is this the last pile of rubble? I think it might be, so let's get rid of that. Yay! You can dig it, kitty. We'll sleep well tonight. It's going quite well, isn't it? Right. So, sell. Let's get rid of all these waterlogged boxes. Cans and things, yeah. Oh, cans are going to have to be done individually, aren't they? Oh, 
that's quite nice I wish I had a real tool in real life like this that would make things so much easier wouldn't it someone should invent that the insta teleport away trash and uh, sell junk tools that would be very popular all right how are we doing making good progress we're making good progress a few more bottles so i'm just taking away as much of the big items that i can see easily to try and free up as much space as we can how are we doing all right we're doing quite well so what does what do we need to do here? Remove trash, clean dirt, place objects. Oh, more ruined furniture and boxes and things. We definitely want to get rid of the cans. I don't think we want to get rid of the paving. I think we might be able to clean that. Can we pressure wash that maybe? Right, have we sold all the... Nope, there's some more cans and things over here. So let's sell as many of these as we can find. Right, I think we want the... Oh, can we hose? Yeah, can we hose to wash off the... Yes, we can. We can pressure wash off all the dirt and stuff. Oh, that's nice as well. That's that pressure. That the hose makes a great pressure washer, doesn't it? Oh, some more stuff to sell. A couple of boards. Make sure we don't sell the paving. Be careful. Oh. Don't sell the paving. Just the slab. Pressure washed, yep. Yeah. All pressure washed off, yeah. Yep. Good, 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 good. And pressure wash this. And then we'll be able to see if we missed any more trash or anything. Made a huge improvement already, haven't we? This is going quite quickly, actually. This is good. Oh, yeah, oh, that's much better already. How are we doing? Much better. Much better. Right, so let's see what we need, shall we? So I don't think they want anything over the here. Right, so the first place to start rebuilding is here, isn't it? So place concrete paving slab. plants so we need so this big square here right so she wants paving slabs furniture and trees right so she's going to want the trees across the this section isn't she so she wants let's think about plants and then which will we do the concrete or the plants oh that's hard to make a decision she? right let's start with the concrete right so she wants concrete paving slab cobblestone is that two separate items Right, so concrete paving slab and cobblestone. Concrete. I think that's the one she's asking for. So concrete paving slab 100 by 50 and she's also asking for cobblestone 100 by 100. 
And she wants 29 of the two. That's confusing me slightly, I think. She wants a mix of the two. So this is the one she's already got, isn't it? So she's got, she wants 29 in total. Sorry about me not talking. It's, it's a bit hard to think late and talk at the same time. 10, 11. the one concrete paving slab And on this, she wants the half of the Veyas, the bench with cushions de secca. Right, bench with cushions de secca, and she wants two of them. Bench with cushions de secca furniture. Bench with cushions. A secker. So it's a big wooden sort of campy bench. So let's see. So the pillows, you've got quite a lot of choice for pillows. She wants the kids to enjoy it. So maybe maybe the clouds and the Maybe that's so we want to rotate that so that we've got one. Right, so let's see how wide is this gonna be. So on the second one there and on the second one. enough 
enough space to go down there. And then the other thing she wants is the hearth veas. Hearth veas. Hearth veas. Right, so. Ah, it's one of those raised up pit things. So, we want it to be. The brown one, I think, and we want to show if we can put that in the middle, yeah, like that, so that will keep you warm. Okay, and then she wants some plants. So she wants an irregular tree, height one point five, a broad brush height one point five, and a round bush one point one meter. So I would say a tree, and a broad bush, and then a small bush, maybe. Oh no, she wants two of each. Right, irregular tree, height 1.5. So we want to go to plant. Irregular tree, height 1.5. Right, so what sort of plants do we want? Ooh. That's a pretty one. It's got like flowers and things. We've got all sorts of different colours here, look. How about a red one? Ooh, how about that? How about we have a big red pretty tree at the two ends. And then the next one is a broad bush. Height 1.5. Broad bush. Height 1.5. So we had two red ones, so we want something a little bit different. We'll go for a. How about a bright yellow one? Making it a bit. Bit too colourful, maybe. I wonder. Whoop. Wow, that's a bit big. That is a bit big. Actually, I'm starting to think maybe the tree, the bush, should be on the end, and the tree. Whoop. I'm still pressing the wrong buttons. No. Okay. I think maybe we should move the trees in and have the bushes. So that's in line with the big bush. Well no we don't want holly do we? Right, let's have a look what sort of we've got there. It's a bit salix. How about that? Four round bushes. Four round bush height one meter. Round bush height one meter. Oh, we've got lots of different colours, so. Oh, yeah, 
this. Let's have lots of different uh, like colours, shall we? Let's have a green one. And a yellow one. move things again a little bit maybe. You go a tiny bit further that way and then move the tree a little bit. And then maybe we can pull you a little bit further to the side. I was actually hoping that I could maybe put one here. It's not going to fit there, is it? Yeah, that one's something else, right? So, what do we like? So let's start digging. So we're having a nice colourful border here. So we're going to dig them all into the ground and just finish off this border and then see what else there is left in this garden to do. In fact, we might need to do that in another episode. I was kind of hoping we could finish it in one. Let's see what else there is left to do. Let's just finish this off. Last few plants, I think, in the uh, garden area. Last small bush, and then we start on the trees and the big bush. And then we can get to see what we've actually done and see what it looks like. I do like the way that they've um, led you through the garden quite extensively to kind of teach you what all the things are and how you can maybe put stuff together. I think that's actually quite a good idea because sometimes things can get a bit complicated, can't they? Especially with the number of plants and things that are available, I think it could have been a little bit bewildering to not have that like handheldy bit though I must admit to have been a little bit upset by the um, lawnmower that that I found a little off-putting because it actually triggers my motion sickness and makes me feel really sick as well as being a little bit difficult to handle and maneuver so that's the one thing if we could change things that's the one I'd have fixed a bit more though well, apparently that's already been fixed a bit so goodness knows what it was like when it originally came out that must have been quite terrible uh, but I'm quite pleased with what we've what we've got now I think that I could probably do something quite nice with that I look forward to actually looking at my sort of residential house that I've kept for my office and my personal house just to take a look at that garden once we finish these work orders for the garden thing, I think I might look at that one first. And I wonder if we've still got the Samata Myers house that we haven't sold, um, because I thought maybe we could take a look at that garden as well. Though you have the, ad dis the added disadvantage of that one, of course, of it having the grave in it, so you'll have to build some sort of fence and cover and stuff for that. So that thought it might be quite interesting to do one or both of those as a project I think. Right, so there we go, that's the planting successful. How does that look? That looks pretty nice actually. I think if I was doing the garden I'd have put taller plants in the back and then the 
smaller ones in front but with the space that we've got there I couldn't actually move the plants to the side of the tree without it being a little weird so yeah right so that's that one done so I think we've actually got quite a lot of uh, progress done on this uh, yeah it's not asking me to do anything with that I, if this was my garden I'd add a little bit more grass here of course but it's quite happy with that so we've got some flowers to put in here and we've got some oh it says we've not removed all the trash or all the weeds so I think uh, that will be the next job I don't actually see any obvious trash but it's saying we've got some somewhere oh wait there's a plank right here look yay so we need to be looking for some more weeds and things so I think that that will be the end of this episode so in the next episode we will try and finish off this garden but for now I think that this is quite a pretty little section of the garden and I quite like the look of it so I hope you've enjoyed today's episode please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one from Soft Kitty 99 goodbye and happy gaming